Okay, so we're looking for the conditional probability of A given B, where the experiment is to roll a single die, and A is the event that the roll is odd, so that means we're going to get a 1, 3, or 5. B is the event that the roll is a multiple of 3, meaning it's a 3 or a 6. Um, note their intersection, A intersect B, or A and B, is just the element of the event 3. It's the only thing in both sets. So the conditional probability of A given B is found by looking at the number of things. Usually if you look at the denominator, it's easier. So B is occurring first, and we want to set up a fraction here. And the number of things in B goes downstairs, so there are two things in B. Of those things, how many of them are also in A? That's the intersection, one. So the probability of A given B is one half. Going the other direction. If we want to find the probability of B given A, do the same thing. Maybe I'll write this one out a little more. I would look at the denominator first. That's the number of things in A. And the numerator after that, which would be the number of things that are in both or in the intersection. I can use the number sign here for number, or I could use a little n number of things and a intersect B divided by the number of things in a in this case there are three things in a that's the denominator and again that's happening first probability of B given a means a has already occurred so there are three things that can happen there and out of those three, only one of them is in B. So the probability of B given A is one third.